back to the right and Hall driving inside on Carey, who swatted it out of there. The outlet pass for Jones, two on one, the lob to Delorier, who stuffs it down. Our strength is the fact that uh, we have a number of guys uh, who can play. And you know, when somebody has not had as good a performance, someone else has stepped up. I don't think we yet have had a game where our entire group played really well. And uh, that's encouraging because you are going to get inconsistencies with a young team and, and especially since you're not building it around one person or two, two people. You know, the guy who's been most consistent has been uh, Trey uh, with the ball and, uh, and, and also Vernon. You know, Vernon has played well in every game, not the entire game, and, but uh, for a young big guy, he has uh, really given us a, a guy to go to inside, which, um, you know, we didn't know that that would happen, you know, when we started practice. He's, he's really emerged as, a, as a, one of the outstanding players in our league. Here's Jones on the left, behind the back of the dribble. Blue Devil lead is 12 into the post and carry, catches, goes up! Hammer time! And it's a 14-point lead again. Square Garden in New York. It is Kansas and Duke, number three and number four. Jones in transition. Long bounce pass to Stanley, who rocks the rim, and Kansas wants a timeout. The pass for Robinson. Baker on the offensive glass. <laughs> Freshman out of Los Angeles. Off the turnover. Stanley. Oh, oh, the scoop oh, and the score. Just hovered in the air. And yet they've hung in this game. Iron unkind there. Jones the other way. It rolls in. And that's a career high for Trey Jones. Jumps one off for Alex O'Connell. Who came free and dumped it down. Look out, Alex O'Connell. Oh my goodness. Blue Devils a chance to take their first lead. Carrier Baker is carrying. It's Carey off the glass and one. Shot clocks at one. Carry up and throw. Tenacious. And here come the Blue Devils down by two. Stanley fell down on the left sideline. Baker on the right. Hits a three. Baker looking for help. Finds Jones. Ten to shoot. Hurt for three. Boy, and it's 6'10", he can get that shot off anytime he wants to. DD, he threw it right to Wendell Moore, the freshman, up, up, and away, and Duke has its largest lead of the night. Over the last month, you know, playing 10 games, uh, really quick schedule. I mean, it, it's changed so much in the last decade uh, to where you're playing so many games, and then we have a break. Uh, and overall, I think our guys have done an outstanding job. You know, they're, uh, to get the level of consistency from everybody that you would uh, like is, is difficult. Uh, but more than not, our guys have shown up. And, you know, we had one bad game and uh, where, you know, pretty much we all didn't show up. And, uh, but other than that, our guys have won on the road. Uh, one on neutral courts. I mean, three games in Madison Square Garden, a game at Virginia Tech to start the league, a game at Michigan State to the ACC Big Ten. So five of the ten games have been on the road. And that's uh, a lot of travel, and uh, our guys have learned a lot. And I think the key thing is that we, we haven't encountered a serious injury. Cassius was close, but he missed a game and was not really ready to play at Virginia Tech, but he'll be he'll be ready. Just about set for tip, and off we go from inside Madison Square Garden. As we turn the calendar to December, that invariably means it's time for the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Just about set to get things started. ACC play for Duke starts on the road on a Friday night. You know, playing on the road, whether it's neutral, I mean, you, you go as a a freshman at the Madison Square Garden three times uh, earlier in your career, you know, there, th that's a lot. 
you know, that's, it's exciting in that, but you can get nervous. You, uh, you cannot play well, but our guys overall played really well. And I think it's because uh, it, it, they get along so well. This group really pulls for one another and there's no uh, hierarchy, you know, like, well, these two guys are the best players or this guy's the best player and, and we're gonna defer to that, those guys or that guy. That's not like it is on our team. And, uh, you know, they, when you watch them on the road, uh, we're at a team meal, you know, there'll be different guys at different tables. You know, it's not like the upperclassmen are together and the freshmen are together. You wouldn't know class. You know, they just all get along. And I think that's a neat environment that they bring when we go on the road, and I think it's helped us. Drives inside, back up top, stolen by Jones. The outlet for Stanley, and he'll duck it home with the right hand. Yeah, you know, our defense overall has been really good. I think it was better early because we were able to practice more. And uh, what a lot of people don't understand is that when you get into games, you don't practice as much because uh, they get worn out, especially with all the travel. And uh, the habits that you formed you know, with your month of practice before the start of the season, they can slip a little bit. And, uh, you know, overall, we've been a really good rebounding team. Uh, but we, you know, in the last couple of weeks, we've given up uh, too many points in the paint. Now, in saying that, part of that is to uh, take away three-point shots because we've played against a few teams, Virginia Tech, Winthrop, uh, are, are two teams uh, uh, that they shoot threes, you know, and so if you're out there with all those guys, you're going to give up some drives, which are two point. You, know, you don't want to give them up, but they they occur. And in uh, like at Virginia Tech, that's all they shoot. And at the end of the game, I'm not sure people would have predicted that we would have made more threes than they did. And so. Even though we gave up points in the paint, we only gave up five made threes. And there's, you know, uh, there, there, there's, you got to do st things like that. Uh, and overall, when we've had good preparation, uh, our guys have done a good job on the defensive end of the court. Jones looking to drive. Bounce pass for Hurt. He nearly lost it. They fight for it on the deck. Stephen F. Austin has it. It's Bain with two and one down the center of the lane. He lays it up and in, and the Lumberjacks have pulled the upset. There's definitely uh, an increase in confidence on our team when, when you. I mean, you can talk about what you're going to do, but if you go out and you do it, you know that experience of having done it uh, helps tremendously. So we've grown a lot in that regard, individually and collectively, and uh, the, also the experience of losing. You know, that, you know, when we lost at home, that was the first time non-conference in 19 years, 150 games, and, and like a ridiculous stat, really, and uh, ridiculously good. And when we lost, uh, you could go in, you, you could go downward. And instead, we, we, we recovered against uh, Winthrop, and then we had a hellacious week and two amazing road wins at Michigan State and Virginia Tech, and that's a week after that loss. I, I'm proud of the way our guys uh, responded, and I'm proud of the way our uh, our staff responded to it. You know, that's a, a, a real quick turnaround from a, a real tough defeat. The Inside Basketball with Duke's Coach K is brought to you by Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. By the Governor's Highway Safety Program. Don't drink and drive. You're smarter than that. And by Gatorade. Win from within. Gatorade. Packs carbs to refuel. And electrolytes to replenish. So you can bring the heat. Nothing beats Gatorade. Continental tires are built for the road that connects you to all of life's journeys. And for nearly 150 years, we've been developing tires to fit your needs. Each Continental tire is designed to give you precise handling and traction in all seasons. 
and a quiet, comfortable ride wherever the road takes you. You're at your best when you're doing what you really love. We're at ours when we're helping you get there. Continental Tire, for what you do. Christmas one shall remember. Shop Reed's Jewelers for the perfect holiday gift. Merry Christmas. Hi, Merry Christmas. Your dreams come true. Gatorade. Packs carbs to refuel and electrolytes to replenish. So you can bring the heat. Nothing beats Gatorade. I love it. Um, it. Like like everybody says, it really is a brotherhood. Um, you know, you could talk to the guys who play here before you, the guys that are coming in. So, I mean, I love it. Um, it's really a culture that uh, everybody embraces. Uh, it's really one big family. So that's something, since I committed here, that I've uh, noticed that everybody is family, literally. Jones head up, looking for offense. Into the paint, into the corner, Goldwire. He'll drive. Lob it inside to Moore, hesitates, goes up and lays it in. Jordan Goldwire has been a, a huge plus for us this year, and especially in the last uh, last week and a half. And you know, he's one of our best athletes and really is in as good a condition as anyone on our team. I been, wasn't necessarily playing as well at the beginning of the season, um, but it's a long season, so these last couple games, I just try to pick it up. And like I said, different people have came in and stepped up in um, several different games this year. So we all embrace it, everybody's ready. And um, it's, a, it's a good thing for us. And now Goldwire a steal though, goes right to the rim and lays it in off the right side. I think it's something that I've always liked to do. Um, I've always liked to play defense ever since I started playing basketball. So just uh, every day just doing that. And then last year coming in the game, that sort of came a key thing for us. Me coming off the bench and just provide energy, defensive intensity. So. I think just as the season went on, uh, I just kind of got that rep. Perry in backcourt guarded by Goldwire. Now Jones comes over to trap. They've got him in trouble. Dangerous pass, tip, nearly stolen. Cunningham has it for Louisville. Perry took it away, did Barrett, cutting in front as he tried to feed the corner. Now Barrett going to the rim, picks it up and in, and it's down to five. The Blue Devils roar back from 23 down to win at Louisville, 71 to 69. Trey Jones gets the play call for Mike Krzyzewski. Gives it for Barrett. Gets the screen from Williamson. Barrett drives into the paint. Lost it. Goldwire got it! Puts it off the window! And Duke's back in front. Those games were uh, big moments for, uh, for me. Um, playing a lot of minutes, uh, something I wasn't normally used to, and then just doing it in two of those big games definitely was a big confidence booster to be able to provide um, the sort of things I was able to do in those games definitely boosted my confidence. Up top, Cooper handling the basketball. He's a reserve point guard. You got a pocket pick by Goldwire, who tapped it to her. A chance to run. Two on three to the left corner. Moore thought about a three. Gets closer into the paint. Got his defender airborne to kick out Hurt. In the left corner, has his second three of the night. I think he understands his role and loves his role uh, right now. And hopefully he'll continue to love it and continue to expand it. And that basically is not to be a backup point guard, but to be a guard who can play at the point, but can play with Trey. And he's an outstanding defender. He's hitting his open shot and he's making simple plays, but he's also playing so hard on the defensive end. And when you add that with Trey 
and, and Jack, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, we can become uh, even better. So I'm really pleased with where he is at. I feel like there's a stigma of uh, Jordan's the backup four guard, so he's just defensive specialist, but um, obviously I, I just try to work on a lot of different aspects of my game, show people that I'm more than just a defender. This summer, I put a, a lot of time in the gym, um, travel to a couple of different places just to work out and stuff. So just try to get a lot of shots, um, just game reps, just a lot of different stuff to be ready for the season. We have a different team, so I knew there was going to be opportunity uh, for me to play. Um, so just try to work on my three-point shot as much as possible, uh, get a lot of shots up, and then also just come in and try to be a leader. Uh, we, have, we have a younger team, so just try to come in and talk, lead, by example, just trying to tell them not to get down on yourself. Um, like I said, we have so many games throughout the course of the season, so just trying to tell them keep their heads up, just make sure they keep talking. Um, just most importantly, just not to get down on yourself because you're going to have the opportunity to make up for it. Hokies have gone zone the last few possessions. Now inside for Delorier. Whips it cross court. Nice catch by Hurt. Back up top for Moore. 13 to shoot. Drives inside a kick out. Goldwire, right side three. His second of the night. It's very competitive, like you said, uh, we're very deep as a team. So even over the course season, we've had a bunch of different starting lineups. So you can just see how everybody can contribute. Each person comes a different game, ready to play, and contributes uh, big minutes. So I mean, we're very deep as a team, and um, as a whole, it pushes us. We're going to compete um, and have a really good team. Uh, obviously, we, we're still not where we need to be, but I think that we're a very good team and that um, we could reach um, a goal this season that we have, and that's to win a national championship. I think that's something that we're very capable of doing. Major auto accident. Let's do what we do. Serious injuries. Clearly our driver's fault. So what's the plan? Delay? Deny? <laughs> what? They called the law offices of James Scott Farron. I think you should handle this one. If you've been injured in an accident, tell them you mean business. Call on the hurt line. The law offices of James Scott Farron, right now. No, you handle it. No, I insist. You handle it. Bring all the gifts for under the tree. And while you're at it, bring the tree. Ford F-150, built for the holidays. Now get 20% estimated savings on select Ford F-150s and Rangers. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards at your Carolina Ford dealer. It's time. It's time. It's time. It's time. Okay. Thank you. Think ahead, think advance. Get free testing and installation with batteries starting at $79.99 at Advance Auto Parts. Point of Attack with Chris Patola, presented by Continental Tire, for what you do. We know that Duke each year has a lot of turnover, is a, is a young team coming in with the roster they have. It's what makes senior captains, Javin Delorier and Jack White, so important, especially when you go on the road for your first true road game at Michigan State. Those two guys with their leadership, were so critical in that big Duke win over the Spartans. It wasn't just their production, which we'll get to in a second. It's really their voice. They're constantly talking out there, their energy, their dirty work plays that they make. It sets an example, again, for a young roster, especially on the road. But then you get to the production they had in that game. 
Javin and Jack in that game combined for 17 points, 12 rebounds, three blocks, five steals. And what was so impressive about their production is in that game is if you go back to the first eight games of the season, Jack had made only six shots leading up to that. Javin had made only nine shots. So the 17 points combined was big. But again, it was their job on the glass, the blocks, the steals. It was their energy, their voice, their leadership that was so critical in that first true road game. Those senior captains are going to be huge and a big part of whatever success the Duke Blue Devils have this coming season. Jack and Javin are extremely important, whether they're starting or coming off the bench. Uh, uh, I see it in practice. We're in huddles, uh, stop actions, uh, different times during the practice. Their voice will be heard above the others. Jav is really starting to play well. Jack has played well the entire time. Uh, people listen to people who are playing well. <laughs> if, you're not, if you're not doing a good job, don't tell everyone else to do a good job because they're not going to listen. It'll be an irritating voice. Instead, these two guys, their voices want to be heard, and I think our guys uh, respond to it. And, uh, and when they do lead like that, they play better. You know, that I've always said that. Uh, a leader has, a, has an edge on, on his, his or her opponent uh, because when you lead, you own. And if you own something, you're, you're more apt to, uh, to defend it, protect it, fight for it than if you're, uh, uh, if you're just running. <laughs> If you and so leaders own, and when you're a good leader, uh, you got a chance to be a really good player, too. Forty years with Coach K, presented by Vivid Seats, official partner of the Duke Blue Devils. Don't get just any seat, get a Vivid Seat. out to Dawkins, moves off the screen, gets it back to Curry with four, with three, Curry in trouble, back to Thornton, another three, oh, he knocked it down, unbelievable, Tyler Thornton swishes it, and the Duke fans and players go absolutely bonkers, and Duke has won the Maui Invitational again, the Blue Devils remain perfect on the island, a fifth Maui Invitational Championship for head coach Mike Krzyzewski. Well, Maui, uh, has been like one of the celebrated uh, tournaments in the month of November, and that Thanksgiving week, they call it Feast Week. And uh, you know, we've been out there six times. I think our record is 17 and one uh, there. You know, the last time we lost that close game against Gonzaga, but uh, I think we, we've won the most Maui tournaments with five, and, uh, and there have been some incredible games in there. I, I can remember, you know, when the floor was so slippery, we're playing uh, Brigham Young and, uh, you know, f falling all over the place. And, and then they got it air conditioned. So they, that, that's, that's been better. But uh, our guys have done well there and uh, uh, brings back some memories of some great, great games. Uh, Wojo against Arizona, where he's diving in front of Bibby. <laughs> and Bibby's looking at him like, you're this guy's nuts, and I said, yeah, he is nuts. He's the MVP of the Maui tournament. And uh, uh, so some great individual performances and also uh, great team performances in, uh, in uh, a really closed, uh, very unique environment. Let's talk about math, fuel points math. For every dollar you spend at Harris Teeter, you get a fuel point. 100 fuel points equals 10 cents off per gallon. 200 fuel points equals 20 cents off per gallon. 1,000 fuel points equals $1 off per gallon on quality fuel. And if you're shopping at Harris Teeter with your Vic card, your fuel points are already adding up. Check the bottom of your receipt. Harris Teeter fuel points, an easy way to save on fuel. See harristeeter.com for details. When we're born, we're more alike than we are different. Then somewhere along the way, we start to believe the more distant we are from each other, the more different we are. It's only when we venture into the world 
that we see all we share. Maybe that's the power of flight. Delta isn't flying just to bring us together, but to show we were never that far apart. Continental tires are built for the road that connects you to all of life's journeys. And for nearly 150 years, we've been developing tires to fit your needs. Each Continental tire is designed to give you precise handling and traction in all seasons and a quiet, comfortable ride wherever the road takes you. You're at your best when you're doing what you really love. We're at ours when we're helping you get there. Continental Tire, for what you do. Well, December is, uh, is a very difficult month in that you have uh, interruptions. You know, a football team doesn't have that uh, because it's one semester unless it's, you go in a bowl game and then the other team has the same distraction. But uh, in basketball, the month of December for us, uh, there are not that many games because we have uh, a huge exam period and the week before exams, that, that's really something that our league didn't do us a favor in. You know, we had two away games the last week of school. You know, we missed two days of school and uh, we were taking tests on the road. And, you know, for us to play a conference game on a Friday, the last day of class before exams is really negligent on, on the part of our, our conference. That, that's uh, not a good thing but our guys responded. And, and then we have a, uh, over a week of exams, reading period and exams, and there's only one game before Christmas. And then you break for Christmas. And we never play on the road or at home during Christmas. So I want them with their families, and then they'll come back the 26th, and uh, hopefully we can stay in shape during that time. The other thing is just do your job off the court. You know, you have responsibilities on the academic side, and uh, you know there's a lot of work that has to be done during that during that time. So, uh, trying to stay in shape, uh, keep you know keep an edge, and uh, stay healthy.